The following program is made possible by the friends and partners of One Voice Ministries. The Bible says that hope deferred makes the heart sick. Do you ever feel like you're walking through a dry season? Does it feel like your dreams and harvest are in the distance? Do you need a word from God for right now? In this series, Hank and Brenda are going to be talking about bringing your future harvest into a now season. Get ready to discover supernatural timing, how to break the spirit of delay, how you can activate your angels for the harvest, and to pray in your harvest now. We are entering into a time where the seeds that you have sown will be overtaken by your harvest as heaven aligns with earth. Remember, it's a prophetic season, and your harvest is now. everybody. Thank you for watching today's program. You're watching New Level with Hank and Brenda, and we are so thrilled that you've joined us. We've got an exciting program. In fact, we're going to talk about a prophetic word that the Lord gave through my beautiful wife, Brenda. And the Lord said in the prophecy, don't say that your harvest is in a future time. Declare, says the Lord, your harvest is now. And that's what we're going to talk about. We're in a season where God is accelerating time, He's bringing a harvest to your family, to your life, your job, your finances, everything that concerns you, God is declaring it's not in the future, but your harvest is now. So we're excited that you've joined us and we're going to get right into the show. Well, you know, the Bible says in Amos chapter 9, verse 13, it says, The day will come, says the Lord, when the plowman will overtake the reaper, mean you, meaning you can't sow seed fast enough before you're already seeing the blessing that comes from that. And, you know, Hank, we are already seeing so many testimonies of people that have gotten a hold of this word by faith and they are applying it to their own life, saying that their harvest is now and uh, just testimony after testimony of bills being paid right. off, breakthroughs happening, people receiving divine healing, people that have just grabbed Family. a hold of this. Yes, and even in their own family, people's loved ones coming back to God. Just, I mean, I just received a testimony yesterday about somebody that got a huge bill paid off. And so the Spirit of God is moving over a now harvest act of faith, a mentality, and Hank, this is something we need to take a hold right. of. We can activate a now harvest by things that we do. Well, let's talk about how do we activate this now harvest. Maybe you're in a situation right now in your life. You're saying, you know what? That's me. I've been waiting a long time for my breakthrough. I've been waiting a long time for that answer to prayer. And I've been waiting a long time to see my family saved or that uh, financial breakthrough. I want you to know the Spirit of God is speaking directly to you, declaring that your harvest is now. Hallelujah. It's right now. In fact, Jesus said these words in John chapter 4, verse 35. And of course, you know, we know that this is speaking about souls. Uh, but there's the principle that I want you to see that maybe uh, is going to bring you, well, in fact, it's going to bring you to a whole nother level of expectancy. You know, Brenda, in John 4, verse 35, I like what it says. It says, Jesus speaking, he says, you know the saying, Four months between planting and harvest, but I say, wake up and look around. The fields are already ripe for harvest. And you know wow. what's amazing about this is if you think about what Jesus was saying, the typical time of expectancy for the harvest was four months, and then there would be a harvest. But he's saying, look now. Yes. Look now. The harvest is already plentiful. The harvest is already now. Yes. And what I believe prophetically that the Spirit of the Lord is saying is that, yeah, there might be the typical uh, expectation that we have. Okay, well, we pray, and then it seems like it's a few weeks, a few months, or, right. you know, we've been praying about something for a long time. But here's what Jesus said. Don't just expect it to be the usual. Expect the God of the supernatural. Hallelujah. The God who yes. transcends time to begin to declare and release over you a harvest that brings you into blessing Amen. upon blessing, breakthrough upon breakthrough upon breakthrough. 
So what is he saying? God is saying at this moment, your harvest is now transcending time. Well, you know, Hank, and it's like, just keep looking at this verse as you read that, you know, and now the King James says, don't say, yeah. or you know the saying that, you know, um, there's four months and then the harvest comes. You know, I think sometimes when we pray, um, we have this mindset that, well, I'm going to pray on Monday, but I may not see it until three Mondays from right. now or six Mondays from yeah, now or true. two years from now. You know, sometimes we get caught up in a the waiting period for answers. And I think um, there's a reason sometimes delays happen or we don't see those answers as quickly as we need to. Jesus said these words. He said, lift your eyes up or start to see that the harvest can come quicker than you That's expected. Right. Start mm -hmm. to look for that. Start to see a mm -hmm. now miracle. When you pray today, see the answer happening today. When you um, make a, a declaration from your mouth prophetically, mm -hmm. see it happening at the moment that you say it in the spirit and, and look for that to happen in an instant way. And so I think that's what this prophecy is declaring. God is saying, don't say your harvest is in the future because that is the habit of many of us sometimes we always see things somewhere down in the future you know next year when it happens or i hear people say this a lot hank when i get my miracle right you know when that prayer gets answered when the harvest comes and and there is a timing of god mm -hmm. i do believe that there there are some things especially when it comes to our calling and our personal mm -hmm. spiritual growth that there is a waiting period but i think there's miraculous things mm -hmm. that god is wanting to bring to pass at this moment well, because immediate the, immediate answers immediate answers is correct right. Did you hear what she said? Immediate answers. In other words, it's immediate season of now. You know, there was a time in the Bible, in the book of 2 Kings, where the prophet comes after they had been in a famine, and he said, this time tomorrow, things yes. shall suddenly begin to change. And so when you hook up to a prophetic word that the Lord is declaring, you receive immediate blessings. Yes. And so I want you to connect to what God is saying. Your harvest is now. You're going to see salvation for your family angels are being released for you yes. to bring you into the breakthrough that you have been praying for the answers to prayer that you're expecting you see god is a god again as we've been saying that transcends time yes that's he's right he's not limited to time yep. you know god's an eternal spirit and right. and you know jesus walked through the walls uh, after he rose <laughs> yes, from the he dead did. he's not he's not limited <laughs> that's so to, true to that is don't so true. just say well four months until the harvest or you know what i, I sow to seed and you know it takes time yeah, I understand that. That typically might be how it is. But when you're in a prophetic moment and a prophetic season that God declares that you're in harvest now, you need to say that. I want you to say that right now. Say that out of your mouth. Say, I'm in harvest right now. Say, I'm in harvest right yeah, now. Harvest now. Say that over your family. Say, my family's saved now. Yes, glory. Say, my finances Jesus. are blessed now. now. My body is healed now. Because, see, we're in harvest now. You know, when God begins to move, Brenda, prophetically, yeah. think yeah. about this with the five loaves and, and the two fish. You know, they were uh, hungry for three days. They've been without food. You know, how long have you been waiting? How long have you had a need? What have you been hungering for? And if you think about how they were hungering, all of a sudden, Jesus does something. He brings a harvest now off of five loaves and two fish. In other words, God began to bring multiplication immediately. And it was unexplained. And it was unexplained and in some ways unexpected. Yes, that's so true right? because nobody saw that coming. It was, you know, just a sudden miracle. And mm -hmm. if God could do that for those people, then why, it, why can we not trust that he'll do unexpected miracles for us today in sudden moments? That's, that's the right. moment we pray it. The moment you know, I've just pray. been sensing right now that, that you're frustrated and you're saying, you know what? You know, Hank and Brenda, I hear what you're saying, but boy, you know, I'm frustrated. I don't want you to be frustrated, neither does God, because you see, God is a God of compassion. In fact, in John chapter 5, he comes to a man at the pool of Bethesda for 38 years. He was waiting for his answer, and the Bible says something really powerful. He said, the, Jesus saw that this man had been a long time in that condition. How long has it been that you've been believing for your family? How long has it been that you've been declaring, oh God, move upon my marriage, move upon my children, move upon my finances, move upon my body and bring me into healing. When you're in harvest now, one moment that Jesus shows up, suddenly things begin to change and that's the season 
that God is declaring your harvest now. Angels are waiting for you to speak, to declare. That's right. And in a moment of time, the compassion of God, the compassion of Jesus that showed up at that pool that day, Brenda. I love that. Is the very same God that's coming to bring harvest now for you and to you. So I break the spirit of, yes. of frustration off of you. Yes. I declare that you come into an expectancy, that yes. there is an anointing that is Jesus. released now for you to bring you up to a place of encouragement yes. and no despair, no frustration. That's right. Now I declare, let your eyes be open to see that God is for you Jesus. and that there are angels working for your harvest now. In Jesus' name. Well, we're going to take a quick break and then and we're going to tell you how to get some resources harvest now. But I want to just read one scripture to you. The Bible says, behold, the days come, says mm. the Lord, <clears throat> excuse me, that the plowman shall overtake. And I believe right now wow. you're going to be overtaken by a reaping, by a harvest that is coming to you in the spirit. It is yours right now. Well, we're going to take a break, Hank, and, and, and we're going to tell you about some resources you can get a hold of to teach you line upon line, principle by principle. The Bible says we grow from glory to glory to teach you how to develop a harvest now mentality. And so uh, then we're going to come back. I believe the spirit of the Lord is going to minister to you. We're going to finish out some princi principles and talk about how Jesus lived in a perpetual, continual harvest now. And I believe that, that what he had, we can live and walk in, not just because he was the son of God, but also because he developed something, an attitude of faith that that he saw harvest in the immediate, immediate time. So we're going to tell you how to get a hold of some principles and part of, or get a hold of some materials. And part of that is you can get a full copy of the Harvest Now Pro Prophecy. And Hank and I put together a whole bunch of prayer points that you can absolutely war with this word. It's time to war with this word over your loved ones, over your family members. It's time to see a harvest of souls in your own household. There are angels that God wants to release. In fact, we're going to give you uh, a whole series on how to activate angels for your harvest. Come on, you need to declare it. Your harvest is right now. And so I want to make sure you get a hold of all these. So stay tuned for the rest of the program. Hank and I are going to continue talking about Jesus and how he is the Lord of the immediate harvest. Hank, I'm excited. Amen. Let's get ready to do it. And I declare your harvest is right now. For your gift of $25 or more, we want to send you the Household Harvest Package that will help you pray for the harvest of souls in your own family. Most people are believing for some measure of harvest with their loved ones. They are believing in prayer for those who are away from God or perhaps don't even know the Lord. Hank's book and CD combo provide faith-building teachings to help you actively trust God for the harvest of salvation for your family. For your gift of $45 or more, we will also include the Activating Angels for Your Harvest DVD set that teaches you how to cooperate with God's angels and activate them for a now harvest. And with this set, we will also include a full copy of Brenda's Harvest Now prophecy coupled with her prayer points so you can war with this timely prophetic word and see your harvest manifest now. With these life-changing resources, you can break the spirit of delay and confidently say, my harvest is now. For it is the time of the now harvest and it is descending and it's falling and it's coming upon you. So begin to take the harvest that I have sent and the seeds that have been sown. And so now pull out of the spirit your harvest for the harvest is come now. It's not for a future time, but it's come now. Don't let your harvest season pass you by. Sow your love gift today by calling 855-777-7907 and mention offer number 716 or visit us online at hankandbrenda.org. Well, make sure you get all the resources that we've talked to you about because it's going to bring you into a, such a place of blessing, of expectancy. We've been talking about a prophetic word that the Spirit of God has been speaking, and He's been speaking this word very strong. Don't say that your harvest is delayed or tomorrow or in the future. The Spirit of God says your harvest is Hallelujah. now. You know what that means? It, it means that sudden blessings are on the way. We need to expect immediate answers Expectancy from God. is such a key 
to, to receive your harvest now. Sometimes yes. we think, yeah, but I've just been waiting and waiting and waiting. In fact, even the scripture says those that wait upon the Lord. But, you know, Brenda, I think there's a different meaning to that, don't well, you? Well, I think sometimes we think of waiting as, um, you know, I'm waiting years, months or years. Things are going to go on forever. Um, but the Bible says, you know, if you go back to familiar scripture in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31, it says, they that wait upon the Lord mm -hmm. shall renew their strength. But that that um, word wait in the Hebrew, if you study it, it means to have an anticipation. It's not a waiting like, okay, I'm waiting this out. I'm enduring long with God. I'm going to let him take me through years of a journey until I get to a certain point. No, that word wait right there, it's an expectancy. It's like something that you're looking around the corner for, you know, kind of like Hank, I like to always make this analogy. It's like you're at the bus stop. You know, you don't expect the bus to come next week. You get yeah, to the right. bus stop and you expect something to happen, you expect that bus to show up in a few minutes or even 30 minutes. It's coming immediately. It's an anticipation. And that's what a lot of times when you look through the Bible and it says, you know, David says, my soul waited for the Lord. That is referencing an anticipation for God to act in an immediate fashion. It's a, it's a God, my heart is, is pressed into you for a right now answer. They that wait, they that have an expectancy that the Lord is going to move and act and bring a harvest and a sudden miracle. Those are the people, the Bible said, will renew their strength. They'll mount up like wings of eagles. Well, why do you think that happens? It's because when a harvest comes, we react with strength again. Yeah. Yeah. Our strength returns. When that hope is no longer deferred, we're, we come into a place of blessing. And so we mount up with wings of eagles. And so when we look at the word wait in the scripture, it's not just a waiting for an eternity on God. It's an anticipation that the and Lord is going to move. it's an expectancy. And I like what she That's said. So There's an expectancy. That's why we, we, we've been talking about, you know, your harvest is now. Your harvest is now over your family. Yes. Your harvest is now yes. over in your Jesus life, name. over your health, over, uh, you know, all that concerns you. You are in a harvest yes. now season where God is coming. And, and I tell you, you need to have such an expectancy because when you connect to the God of the now, you become blessed. You know, that's exactly what happened with the woman uh, with the issue of blood in scripture. You remember, yes. uh, she came in contact. She said within herself, she had such a, a sense of expectancy where she said, if I can just touch the hem of Jesus's garment, I'll be healed of my issues. Now think about some of the issues that maybe you're facing where you're saying, you know what? You know, Hank and Brent, I've been waiting a long time. Well, here's the thing. She had such an uh, expectancy on the inside of her that she would not take no for an answer. She said, once I touch his garments, yes. I'm going to be healed of my issues. Now think about this for a minute. If you think about Jesus, you know, he always got immediate results. Yes, that anointing was on him because Jesus had such an expectancy of his father that he was going to move by his spirit through him. And, and if you think about this, uh, the King James Version often uses the word straightway. Maybe some of our viewers <laughs> there in the United Kingdom, and, you know, that's a King James Version, straightway, it means suddenly. It yeah. means, I think... Uh, it means on the spot. On the spot. Immediate. Are you ready for an on-spot <laughs> harvest now? Yeah. Angels released for you to bring you into blessing upon blessing over your life and family and finances and marriage and home and, you know, all the things that you're looking at and you're just saying, God, I need a breakthrough now. Well, Jesus always operated in, in that kind of anointing, that harvest now. I mean, people got healed immediately. So true. They got delivered immediately. Most examples you see that. That's I mean, right. you think about Peter's mother-in-law in Mark That's chapter right. one. It said that the, when Jesus prayed for her, immediately the fever left her. Yeah. And at that moment, she arose and ministered to them. In fact, another thing I was thinking, Hank, that word straightway or immediate also means within the hour. Wow. Um, so it means that mm -hmm. it's it's an immediate time in the future. And, you know, sometimes I think we think that, well, the reason Jesus got immediate answers is because he was the son of God. No, I think it's what you just said a minute ago. It is, he was expecting yeah. God to move immediately. He expected results. This is what Harvest Now is all about, that when we pray something, 
when we sow a seed into the kingdom of God, mm -hmm. when we give back to God in worship, when, you know, any seed we sow, because harvest has to do with seed sowing. That's it's right. seeds of prayer, seeds of worship, seeds of giving. Uh, harvest now has to do with, you know, anything that we put out before God, we expect to receive a, a result or a response mm -hmm. back from heaven. And so God wants to respond to us immediately. And the reason I believe Jesus had immediate results is he expected immediate answers. So we see again and again in his ministry, the woman, Hank, that was bound with the spirit of infirmity in Luke 13, yeah, for right. 18, years 18 years she was bound. But Jesus came on the scene expecting a harvest now because he had sown in prayer, he had given to God, right. he was sold out to God. You know, in fact, I believe that some of you have been waiting on financial seeds. You have sown into the kingdom of God by way of your money. Well, the, a belief for a harvest now, belief for an immediate result, immediate answer. And maybe you've been bound like that woman for 18 years and you feel like, man, I'm just struggling, I'm struggling, I bill, I'm in debt or whatever's happening. No, start to declare a now harvest. That's what this prophecy is all about. It's saying, don't say, it's in the future, right. say it's right now. The harvest is now. Jesus lived perpetually in a harvest now and anointing. And you know what I love about that prophecy, that uh, you can get that prophecy in its entirety yes. uh, that talked about your harvest is now. Yes. Think about this. You know, Jesus shows up to, uh, to Peter who was fishing yes. and he was fishing all day, all night, cleaning his nets, didn't catch anything. There was no results. Maybe you're in a place where you're saying, you know what, I just don't think that I'm getting any kind of results. But you know what, Jesus showing up yes. in the life of Peter and Peter tapping into the word that Jesus said, and that is launch out into the deep. When yes. you take your faith, the spirit of expectancy, That's right. and you release that, you know what That's happens? Right. You come into harvest now. That's exactly what happened with Peter. When he obeyed the word that Jesus said, his nets broke and he came into a breakthrough. Oh, the nets yeah. broke open. I'm telling you, you're in Lord, harvest now. Yes. You're in a season that God Jesus is opening name. up the windows of heaven. He is reaching for you, towards you. He is manifesting the healing that you have been crying out for Hallelujah. in your body, yes. in your legs, in your back, even in your eyes. He is stretching his hands yes. over your family that Glory you are not to going Jesus. to wonder any longer. Will your family ever be saved? Your family is saved now. Hallelujah. Every one of them. Yes. yes. In-laws, outlaws, all of them. <laughs> they are saved now, we declare, because of the prophetic word that's being released to you, for you. Your finances are about to shift and Hallelujah. come into a place of incredible blessing and breakthrough. You are in a harvest now season. And when God releases a word through a yes. prophetic vessel and you come into expectancy yes. and into agreement, that same blessing begins Thank to manifest you, over you yes, time Lord. and time again. But you've got to believe what the Lord is saying. You're in a harvest now season. Say that. Say, I'm in a harvest Hallelujah. now season. Say, over my family. Yes. Over my finances. Yes. Over my children. Over my marriage. I'm in a harvest now season. My harvest is right now. Well, I want to give you one other scripture. I was just looking at this, Hank, while you were declaring that. Psalm 102, 13 says, Thou shall arise. Wow, we wrote this scripture. down this morning. Yeah. Thou shall arise and have mercy on Zion for the time, the set, set time, time to favor her. That's spot on, now, straightway. That's straightway. That's <laughs> now. The time to favor yeah. her has come. God's time to favor you is right now. And so uh, God is just waiting on you to believe that and to receive that and expect mm -hmm. that in your life and in your heart. So Hank, this has just been awesome. Been there word. is a prophetic word that God is declaring and, mm -hmm. and I'm taking a hold of that. And in fact, just to share testimony with you, I've already seen many of these Harvest Now answers to prayer, things that we have prayed mm -hmm. even in our own life come to pass. And we've been taking seeds that we have sown, financial seeds that we have sown, and we have been saying, this is the harvest that we want, God. We wanna see it come to pass right. right now. Well, I wanna make sure before 
we go today yeah. that you get a hold of all these resources that we have put together. You heard Hank talk a few moments ago about believing for a harvest in your family. We put together the whole um, household harvest package, Hank's book and DVD mm -hmm. set that talks about how to pray for the salvation of your loved one. We saw the jailer, Hank, yeah. that um, uh, in Acts the 16th chapter, when the angel came and broke them out of jail, Paul and Silas were broken out of jail and the jailer, not only was he saved, but the Bible says his whole household received salvation. So there are household salvations that God wants to bring. Part of harvest has to do with souls, it's the souls of your family members. And I know you're probably watching today and you can already think of somebody's name that needs to be saved. Well, I want you to get the household harvest package. We put that together, how to pray for the harvest of the souls in your own family. Also, activating angels for the harvest. You know angels watch over the harvest. One of the, the three angels in Revelation 14, the key was that angel was released to preach the gospel to the earth. Angels are reaping mm -hmm. angels. They reap the harvest of the earth. And so angels are actively working your harvest for your healing. In fact, we're going to be talking about angels on the shows coming up on Harvest Now in the weeks to come. Angels are activated over that. And so you want to get that entire package. These resources will help you activate your harvest and then the complete harvest now prophecy and all of these prayer points that you can pray declare speak over the harvest of the harvest in your life that God wants to bring get all the resources for your giving sow a seed and you sow a seed we're going to send you some materials it'll be a blessing in your life you can sow to reap a now harvest amen well, hallelujah your harvest now say it it's my harvest now. Well, get all these resources. Unlock the windows of heaven over you. Come into the prophetic season of God, so declaring that your harvest is now. We're Hank and Brenda. We're bringing you to a whole new level. We'll see you next week. And I prophesy, your harvest is now. For your gift of $25 or more, we want to send you the Household Harvest Package that will help you pray for the harvest of souls in your own family. Most people are believing for some measure of harvest with their loved ones. They are believing in prayer for those who are away from God or perhaps don't even know the Lord. Hank's book and CD combo provide faith-building teachings to help you actively trust God for the harvest of salvation for your family. For your gift of $45 or more, we will also include the Activating Angels for Your Harvest DVD set that teaches you how to cooperate with God's angels and activate them for a now harvest. And with this set, we will also include a full copy of Brenda's Harvest Now prophecy coupled with her prayer points so you can war with this timely prophetic word and see your harvest manifest now. With these life-changing resources, you can break the spirit of delay and confidently say, my harvest is now. For it is the time of the now harvest and it is descending and it's falling and it's coming upon you. So begin to take the harvest that I have sent and the seeds that have been sown. And so now pull out of the Spirit your harvest, for the harvest is come now. It's not for a future time, but it's come now. Don't let your harvest season pass you by. Sow your love gift today by calling 855-777-7907 and mention offer number 716 or visit us online at hankandbrenda.org. The Spirit of the Lord spoke a word in our church that said, don't say that your harvest is in the future. Say your harvest is now. Mark your calendars and join us for a special Harvest Now live stream prayer event Wednesday night, August 3rd at 7 p.m. Central. Here we will gather and pray and declare in your prophetic season that your harvest is right now. Make sure to go online at hankandbrenda.org and find out how you can request a special My Harvest Is Now prayer call. The preceding program was made possible by the friends and partners of One Voice Ministries.